Captain's Log Date, December 3, 1942. There has been no sighting of any enemy vessels in approximately two weeks. Due to the lack of contact, the sailfish is repositioning to the celibacy. Sea. We will set up a patrol line and search for IJ units in that area. We have 1,800 nautical miles to cover before we are in the new patrol area. Estimated date of arrival in the celibacy is December 13, 1942. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here and welcome back to more Silent Hunter 4 Wolves of the Pacific. We are currently heading towards our mission objective, well, our made up mission objective, which is in the Celibacy, where we will uh, continue the fight. Uh, we haven't detected anything in this area off of New Guinea for about two weeks, so I decided to go ahead and uh, move our course to the Celibacy here. We're passing through these two islands uh, on our way and route. It's going to take approximately 10 days to get there, which is kind of a long time, but uh, a part of that is due to this terrible weather. As we can see, the landmass over there about 890 degrees, and then there's the other island, the much bigger island. <laughs> it's a pretty uh, tall mountain there at 260. So. Oh, we're making a nice steady nine knots. What's the weather out? All right, got it. Wind speed is 15 meters per second, and it's going 171 is the direction. So, yeah, not the best conditions to be sailing in, um, but we do have our SD, our air search radar raised, and we're keeping on the lookout. Our boat is a rock in here. She dips down into those waves. They are pretty big waves out today. Well, hopefully this weather clears up and uh, makes our journey a little less tedious. Let's check on the crew real fast. I haven't checked up on them. Yeah, they're all asleep. I'm going to move the gunner back up in here. He doesn't need to be there. Uh, yep, so everyone's okay. No one's hurt or uh, fatigued, which is good. And let's see, 4% hull damage as we established earlier in our torpedo loadout. We have all of our torpedoes except one uh, in our Fs. They did not give us that one last torpedo, which is... uh unfortunate but it's no big deal it's only one torpedo I probably would have missed with it anyway right so uh, that's the current plan no aircraft have been detected at this point and uh, no ships have been sighted obviously so we'll make our way up New Guinea up the coast of New Guinea here and uh, into the celibacy. sea so uh, I'll see you folks shortly all right so we've detected a radar contact uh, heading east speed is medium Let's go ahead and check this out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn uh, north northeast here, and let's ratchet up our speed to full and see what this guy is. Uh, the weather's calmed down quite a bit, as you can see, the seas are nice and calm. So we might end up using our deck gun on this guy. Uh, let's see, what is his? Where is he? I don't think we'll we'll be able to make visual contact just yet. We are pretty far away, so let's go ahead and uh, move in towards him. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is an enemy. We are in enemy waters at this point. If it's just one lone merchant ship, I think that that gun is what I'm going to use. And it's nighttime again. So another nighttime deck gun attack. And yeah, we're going to use the deck gun. It does not look like a very large vessel at all. Uh, so I think shelling them will be a good idea. Let's go ahead and move in closer. Here. Don't have to be too careful. Merchant spotted. Alright. So y'all have detected him at this point. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Yeah, it looks like a, an oiler of some sorts. Now, one thing... I hope, hopefully y'all can see better, but one thing I don't like about Silent Hunter 4 is this, these artifacts. Uh, you can really tell when the game is turned up, but I will, uh, I will suck it up for you. I'm joking. I, I, I don't mean to complain too much about it. Let's go ahead and see what this guy is. Uh, yeah, he has that... It's probably like a medium tanker, honestly. Boozen Maru. 
That might be it as well. Well, we're going to go ahead and close the gap here. Sorry to subjugate you guys to another deck on attack. And hopefully he has an arm. We can probably start opening fire at this point. How... Yeah, he's pretty close. How many... It's definitely Japanese. Alright, so uh, let's go ahead and get the crew on the deck gun. And... Man your battle stations. Alright, get ready to open fire on this target. Let's go ahead and start engaging. Uh, aim for the water line, please, as usual. Yes, sir. Man the deck gun. Alright, there goes shell one. Is it a hit? Possibly. How far away is this? Oh, they got really close. Just a little short. Alright, there goes shot number two. So he's 15,000 feet away. Oh, there's a good hit. Oh, that lit him up pretty bad. There goes the searchlights. He's looking for us. Good luck spotting me, pal. I mean, he might have a good chance. We are pretty far away. So far, we have a 2 to 1 hit ratio. And I'm wondering if he's going to start opening fire. I don't see any deck guns on him. But I could be wrong. Uh, I don't think I see any, any weapons. So it's a nice unarmed vessel. Right for the taking. He has gone up in flames very easily. Which is nice. Let's go ahead and uh, get a nice little cinematic view here. As we uh, plunk away at this little guy. Now, hopefully my radar operator is paying attention because uh, it's very easy. <laughs> this is destroyer bait right here. Shelling a defenseless merchant. Some escort could be uh, in route now, so probably need to dive immediately after this guy goes down. But my crew is doing one hell of a job. Which is uh, abnormal, to say the least. They normally like missing quite a Oh, well, I spoke too soon. Thank you. We could probably move in closer, if I'm being honest. Now let's go ahead and uh, decrease speed. Give them a more stable platform. Alright, we can go ahead and uh, rudder amidships now, please. Yeah, he has really gone up in flames. It's kind of crazy how much smoke there is. Jeez. This probably is carrying oil. Alright, you know what? We are near some oil fields. Uh, let's see here. Get me on this gun. Y'all are to. Y'all, your crosshair was over here, buddy. The ship's right here. What are you doing? What is wrong with you? Oh, God. I don't know how many. Let's just kind of try to range them out here. That was probably too short. Yeah, a little bit. Let's go to 4,500 yards. And... Oh, my goodness. And fire. There we go. See how that does. What is he doing? It looks like he's turning completely around. Just irritating. I don't know why he'd be doing that. I guess he's just zigzagging. Let's go ahead and move closer. You know, I was uh, making fun of my crew, but I'm not doing much better at all. More range. Now, if I were on that ship, I'd be getting off right about now. I'd... <laughs> Those fires look a little out of control, but... There we go. There's a hit. Let's decrease range a little bit. So I did hit him on the hole, which is not optimal. Waterline hits are preferred. 
I'm not sure you're aware. Yeah, that was a good one. Nice waterline hit. Oh, he might have small caliber weapons on his deck. It seems like a lot of the Japanese merchant ships do at least have some machine guns. So I don't want to get too close. And I'm hoping to put her down before we even close the gap that much. I think we've kind of... This one's done for at this point, though. Let's see here. Go ahead and use some time for brushing. That's my crew waste ammo. Come on now. Honestly, I could probably just hold fire now, and I think she would sink. Oh my god, they're doing really bad. Oh my god, you let her fire stop? Alright. Their damage control is doing pretty well. If they stop those raging fires, my goodness. Oh, okay. Alright, we hit something pretty vital there. Maybe a boiler. Who the hell knows? That was pretty brutal. Just trying to keep it going here. Hopefully. There's another good hit. And there's the fire. Ship's proving to be kind of tough. Even though uh, my crew has missed a majority of her, their shots. Getting a lot of hull hits, unfortunately. Yeah, let's let's plot to move closer. We are pretty close. Alright, hold your fire. She has to be sinking. Alright, we'll only fire whenever her hull is uh closer to it. Has a good angle, so now you can fire. Fire. There you go. I don't know why you're manning the dead gun. Alright, fire two. I'm worried we're running out of dead gun ammunition, honestly. Oh, please don't tell me we're out of dead gun ammunition. Okay, that was a little short. Yeah, I'll just take over from here. Just put her down. Now, <laughs> this is taking a little longer than I uh, expected. There we go. That was a good waterline hit. Yeah, he's turning away from us, which is probably a good idea. I nothing's really going to save him at this point. However, Getting some nice good waterline hits now that we're close. I guess he doesn't have any machine guns on him. Or cannons or anything. Which is, oh. Uh, my, I, my hand does that sometimes. It just moves and spazzes. That's, that's how that happened. <laughs> Alright. Hitting it in the butt. Have 61 shells left. This will probably be our last duck gun attack. And our only one of the patrol. There we go. That, you're kidding me. I feel like the shockwave of that explosion alone would have killed every single crew member on board this boat. Or that boat. Alright, there we go. Now she's going down. And, uh, that completed my patrol objectives, actually. Conduct anti-shipping operations. Now, my question is, do I want to request new orders? Now, I think we're actually going to head into the celibacy just to change things up. There's a little life raft. Apparently there was surviving crew from that <laughs> massive explosion. I feel like that would have burst, you know, burst your head. But what do I know? I mean, that was pretty brutal. Alright, well we can go ahead and reduce speed to two-thirds. We're going to go ahead and submerge while we're at it. 
I don't want to be caught on the surface as a destroyer comes over the horizon opening fire on our position. That is not a preferred uh, outcome. So we're going to go ahead and keep moving to the celibacy. That was a slight delay. It is currently December 4th, 1942, so almost heading into the new year, which is pretty exciting. But uh, we'll keep heading onward to the celibacy, and I'll get back to you guys whenever I have an update. Alright, so we have reached the celibacy. Well, almost. I don't know. I guess we're passing into it. I don't know if this is technically the celibacy or the Philippine Sea or the Makola Sea. But anyway, we are uh, going into the celibacy, and I've went ahead and set up our patrol grid or patrol line here. I think we're going to hunt traffic going in and out of the Makassar Strait. Makassar. I think that's how you'd say that. I'm gonna butcher a lot of these names as we get into a lot of these, uh, a lot of these islands. There's a lot of <laughs> kind of crazy stuff here, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and head here. I think this might be a good choke point because you have a lot of Japanese ships bringing oil and materials from, you know, their colonies in Java and etc. up and into the Philippines. Uh, let's actually look at the map because I'm kind of just assuming that. I could be dead wrong, but let's see here. So, celibacy. Yep, they're exporting from Borneo and bringing it to uh, New Guinea and all of their other holdings. So, I think that might be a good area to hunt. If not, we'll move up and patrol closer to these ports in Borneo. Anyway, uh, any updates? Nope, not really. Other than that, as we uh, cross Pillau here we got a lot of uh, air activity but other than that nothing too uh, nothing too crazy so uh, fuel is at a little less than 70 percent 69 percent and everything else is hunky-dory the weather is absolutely flat which is you know all right I guess <laughs> uh, it's nice to have a change in pace it's been really rough the past few days so uh, it's kind of died down as we enter our new hunting grounds. So now that we're here, we'll see uh, what develops, and I'll keep you guys updated. I'm going to cut the episode here. So, uh, as always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you folks on the next one. And uh, I'm sure we'll have some juicy torpedo attacks, as now we are in a good area of operations, where I do expect to find some enemy shipping. So, anyway, I'll see you folks on the next one. Thank you all for watching, and happy hunting.